Hey guys, welcome to Puddin's Kitchen. My name is Toy and thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're gonna to be making hurricanes. It's a classic cocktail from New Orleans. If you've never had one, you gotta get your hands on one today. It's definitely a very Mardi Gras festive drink to have around this time of year. So I'm gonna show you how I make my hurricanes. Super simple, fastest way to get a hurricane in your hand. Okay, so I have here a passion fruit uh, syrup. What I did with that is I just bought some of this passion fruit pulp that you can buy in the international frozen case in your grocery store. Um, it is amazing. It's really hard to come across passion fruit syrup um, on, on the East Coast. So if you can't get it, just buy one of these, add some sugar to it, boil it down until it, get, until it gets a little bit um, syrupy basically, and then you have passion fruit syrup. Voila. All right, so we have about three ounces of passion fruit syrup. I'm gonna throw that in there to our, our uh, what do you call this, our drink stir or drink mixing glass. All right, and then we're gonna put one ounce of white rum. Try to use a good quality rum or just a basic rum that's good to you. All right, and then we're gonna use one ounce of dark rum. It is very important that you use light and dark rum they both have different flavors. The dark rum is gonna have more of a caramely flavor to it, which is nice. All right, we're gonna add just a splash of Rose's Grenadine. It's gonna give it a little bit of color. Just a little bit more. Okay. And then we're gonna add the juice of half of an orange, about two ounces. You can add more juice if you just like things to taste a little less alcohol and more juicy. So this is a Tangelo, which is great too, really good this time of year. We're gonna squeeze that right in there. I like to use a fork to squeeze out my juice. Kind of digs in there and gets all the juice out. All right, and then a half of a lime. Squeeze that in there as well. And the passion fruit itself is very acidic, so you don't need a ton of lime. Um, you just kind of need just a little bit of it just to enhance the flavor of the passion fruit. And then we're gonna give that a quick stir. And you see the color is already nice, like it's the quintessential color of a hurricane. All right, so we've got our mason jar here. I'm gonna pour this on top. Perfect. And then we're just gonna garnish this with some slices of oranges. and some maraschino cherries. All right, time to give it a taste. Oh my God, that's perfect. Don't skimp out on the light rum, the dark rum, and definitely not the passion fruit syrup or the passion fruit pulp. It's so amazing, it gives it a tropical taste. This time of year we need it in Washington, DC. Thanks for joining me.